Hey guys, welcome to another video on this channel. The Mythic Mounts mod for Fabric adds 40 new tameable animals which can be found in various biomes to Minecraft. They are flying, aquatic and terrestrial mounts that can be equipped with armor and inventory slots. You can ride them, read them and more. Let's dive in. Let's start with the basic features. Mounts can be tamed by right clicking them with an empty hand to repeatedly ride them until they stop throwing you off. Like with horses, this will most likely take a few attempts before the mount is successfully tamed. Also, note that some mounts will be hostile and will fight you while you are trying to tame them. After you tamed your mount, you can ride it by right clicking it with an empty hand and equipping it with a saddle. Flying mounts can be flown by pressing the jump key, so space, to lift off, and then simply looking in the direction you want to fly to. This works with every horizontal and vertical direction. If you want to ascend faster, you can also press the jump key repeatedly. Aquatic mounts can be steered the same way. However, pressing the jump key while riding them will give you a swim boost instead. Tamed mounts will wander around but stay close in a 16 block radius to the last place the owner dismounted. If you want a mount to remain in an exact location without wandering off, right click it with a stick. This lets you switch between sitting, following and wandering mode. Two mounts of the same species can be bred if following conditions are met. Both mounts must be tamed, both mounts must have full health, at least one of them must be standing, and you need to give both of them the appropriate breeding item, like you do when breeding other mobs. If a baby mount is given a warped fungus before it grows up, it will grow into a miniature mount. These mounts cannot be ridden, but are otherwise the same as their normal larger versions. You can cancel the mini effect by feeding a baby mount a crimson fungus before it grows up. Mounts can be healed by throwing health potions at them, giving them the appropriate food items, or by giving them time to rest, as they will slowly regain health when they have the opportunity to sleep. You can also pet your mount by sneaking and right clicking it with an empty hand. Let's take a quick look at the equipment. Mounts can be equipped with chests by right clicking with a chest on them to add more inventory slots. You can unequip the chest by right clicking with a shear on them. The inventory size depends on the type of mount and can be changed in the configs. You can access the mount's inventory either by sitting on it and opening your inventory or by double right clicking a mount with an empty hand by sneaking. Here you can insert or extract a saddle, put stuff in the inventory and also add armor because tamed mounts can be equipped with horse armor. Finally, there's a new summoning staff which can be used to teleport mounts within a short distance. You can link a staff to a mount by right clicking with the staff on the mount and then you can summon the mount by right clicking with the staff. Note that the mount must be in a loaded chunk, so if it is too far away or if your render distance is extremely low, the staff won't work. You also need enough room for the mount to teleport in. Tamed battle mounts will come to your aid in combat. You can disable this behavior in the configs. And as already mentioned, some of the mounts are naturally hostile to players or other mobs. Once tamed, they will no longer attack other entities unless instructed to do so by their owner. You can change the mount aggression and behavior in the configs. So let's move on to the different mounts in a mod. Zap tags are rare and non-hostile flying mobs that can very rarely appear near inhabited villages. They can be tamed faster and can be fed and bred with golden apples. They will defend their owner in combat and the mobs have 20 health, deal 3 attack damage and have 9 inventory slots when equipped with a chest. Acancias are uncommon and non-hostile mobs that can be found in groves and snowy tiger biomes. They can climb sheer surfaces by repeatedly pressing the jump key while climbing, will naturally hunt sheep, goats, rabbits and chicken, and you can tame them faster using mutton or salmon. They can be fed with rabbit, chicken, mutton, beef, pork chop and eggs to heal them. To breed the Kensias, use rabbits, chicken, mutton or salmon. They will also defend their owner in combat. The Kensias have 28 health, deal 10 attack damage and have 12 inventory slots when equipped with a chest. Archelon are uncommon aquatic mounts that can be found in deep lukewarm ocean biomes and are non-hostile. You can tame them faster and breed them with cod or salmon. To heal them use seagrass, kelp, salmon, cod, tropical fish or pufferfish. They will not defend you in combat, have 60 health, 6 attack damage and 30 inventory slots when equipped with a chest. They will also naturally hunt salmon. Both the Akensia and Archelon were introduced as winners of a community mob vote. Cololytras are uncommon flying mounts that can be found in mushroom fields. They are not hostile and can be tamed faster and fed with red and brown mushrooms, flower items and sugar. You can breed them with brown and red mushrooms as well as crimson and warped fungus and flower items. Cololytras will not defend you in combat, have 14 health, deal 2 attack damage and have 15 inventory slots when equipped with a chest. 
You can unlock 14 hidden colors for the color you trust using flowers or food that can be crafted into dye to breed them. Babies have a chance of either having the color of one of their parents, one of the natural wild colorations, and either one of the flower dyes you used, or even a blend of the dyes if you use different flowers. After the color is chosen, there are multiple patterns in different colors that are overlaid at random. Courier birds are common mounts that spawn in jungles, bamboo jungles and sparse jungles. They are not hostile and will flee from you when you approach them. You can tame them faster with sweet berries, feed them with melon slices, apples, glowberries and sweet berries, and you can breed them with sweet berries and melon slices. They will defend their owner in combat, have 20 health, 4 attack damage and 9 inventory slots. Dire wolves are uncommon mobs, which can be found in giant spruce, giant tree and old growth tiger biomes. They are not hostile, but will naturally hunt sheep and skeletons. To increase their taming speed, feed them with bones. You can breed them with rabbits, chicken, mutton, beef and pork chop. To heal them, use the same items or eggs. They will defend their owner in combat and have 30 health, 7 attack damage and 12 inventory slots. Dragons are rare flying mounts that spawn deep underground in large caves below Y level 40. They are hostile and will defend their owner in combat. To tame them faster, use gold ingots, diamonds and emeralds. You can breed them with golden carrots, golden apples and glistering melon slices. To heal them, use rabbits, chicken, mutton, beef, pork chop and eggs. They have 40 health, 10 attack damage and 27 inventory slots. Dragon wings will cause smaller mobs to get blown away if the dragon flies too close. They are also immune to lava and fire. Griffins are uncommon flying mobs that appear in gravelly hills, windswept forests and hills, as well as snowy slopes and jagged peaks. They are not hostile and will hunt sheep and rabbits. They will defend their owner in combat and can be bred and tamed faster with rabbits and mutton. To heal them, feed them with rabbits, chicken, mutton, beef, pork chop and eggs. They have 35 health, deal 7 attack damage and have 12 inventory slots. Gecko tall lizards are uncommon mounts that are found in large caves near the surface and in mountain caves above Y level 60. They are not hostile and will not defend their owner in combat. You are able to tame them faster and breed them using melon, pumpkin or hay blocks. They can be healed with a variety of plants like potatoes, carrots, sweet berries, apples, mushrooms and more. Gecko toa lizards have 35 health, 4 attack damage and 27 inventory slots. Gecko Toas will also attack players or mobs wearing pumpkins, like snow golems or other mobs that are equipped with a pumpkin as a helmet. Giant moths are common flying mobs in dark forest biomes. They are not hostile and will not defend their owner in combat. To tame them faster and heal them, use sugar or plants like any flower, melon slices, sweet berries and so on. You can breed them with sugar, melon slices and glistering melon slices. They have 10 health, deal 2 attack damage and have 6 inventory slots. Giant moths will seek out and stare at torches or lanterns. Nether bats are uncommon flying mounts that spawn in crimson forests and warped forests in the nether. They are hostile and will defend their owner in combat. You can tame them faster with pork chop and feed them with a variety of items like eggs, rotten flesh, potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, apples and so on. You can breed them using pork chop, apples and rotten flesh. Nether bats have 25 health, deal 4 attack damage and have 9 inventory slots. They are immune to lava and fire. Nightmares are common horse-like mobs that are found in soul sand valleys and basalt deltas in the nether dimension. They are hostile, will hunt skeletons and wither skeletons and they can walk on lava. Nightmares are also immune to lava, fire and wither effects. You can tame them faster by feeding them with bones, coal and charcoal. To heal them you can use many items like mushrooms, nether wart, coal, bones, cactus, blaze rods, fire charges and other items. You can breed them with blaze rods and fire charges. They will defend their owner in combat, have 35 health, 5 attack damage and 12 inventory slots. Nightmares also get a speed boost on soul sand and soul soil. Nudie branches are common aquatic mobs that are found near coral reefs and warm oceans. They are not hostile, you can breed them using kelp and they will not defend you in combat. To tame them faster, use seagrass and to heal them, seagrass and kelp. Giant nudie branches have 25 health, 3 attack damage and 9 inventory slots. Nudie branches will also gradually heal their riders. And the last mounts are the riding lizards. These mounts are common and spawn in deserts. They are naturally hostile and will hunt rabbits as well as chicken. To tame them faster, use rabbits and chicken. And to heal them, you can use many items like eggs, potatoes, rotten flesh, carrots, beetroot, apples, melon slices, mushrooms and others. You can breed them with rabbits, chicken, pumpkins and rotten flesh. They will defend their owner in combat and riding lizards have 20 health, deal 3 attack damage and have 6 inventory slots. If you install patchouli, you will be given a guidebook with lore, instructions and information on each mount. 
You can get it in-game by right-clicking with a regular book on any mount or by holding a regular book in your offhand and right-clicking it with a summoning staff in your main hand. Finally, there are four feather blocks included in the mod. The Firebirds, so all of the Zap tags included in the mod, drop their own type of feather once in a while, so it can be used to tell if a Firebird has shown up close to a village. You can place down a feather as a light source. This is it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.